Uh, Stephen Hatcher, uh, chairman of the Plainfield branch of the People's Organization for Progress. We're out here just trying to say we got to stop the violence due to the uh, what's been going on here in Plainfield. In eight days, there were three murders. Three murders here in Plainfield in a town of 50,000 people. Enough is enough. I just thank God it wasn't one of my children, but brothers and sisters, it was one of my children. It feels like it. Because it was three kids, three mothers lost their child. Three fathers have lost one of their children. And until we get out and say that we got to stop this violence in our community, it's not going to stop. I come out here today to say we're going to have a rally trying to say stop the violence. Mailed out about 50 flyers, brothers and sisters, and I see the number that we got out here. And that's great that so many came out. But another thing, brothers, is we see so many whites that come out in our fight for justice. And that's great. But where are we at as a people? If we don't come out and fight for one another, we got to stop waiting for somebody else to solve our problems, brother. In 500 years we've been here in this country, and if we ain't learned nothing by now, ain't nobody gonna fight our fights like us. But us, we got to fight for one another. We got, you got to fight for me, just like, like I gotta fight for you. So power to the people. Uh, yeah, Jesus, wanna say a word of prayer? Let's put your hands together. Let's put your hands together. All hands together. Give me your hands together. All hands together. All hands together. That's unity, right? And yes. the spirit. Yes. Father, we thank you for this day today. We have made history. Yes. It doesn't matter the amount, it's the love that we show to you and to our brothers and sisters. That show that we are your children. That we concern to one another just as we call us to be. Father, bless each and every one here today. Bless those that are suffering, Heavenly Father. Bless the parents of those that have been hurt, Heavenly Father. Wake him up and rejoice and let it be in their soul by your power. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we say, Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day a very great and forgive us our days as we forget our men. And give us that the temptation for deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you all. Okay. My name is Born, and I'm here on behalf of the McCoy family. And that was our nephew, my, my brother's son, that got killed. So I'm out here trying to make a difference. You know what I'm saying? We all need to come together and see that this idiocy is not the way to go in life. And that's all I got to say. Oh, my name is Charlie. And I'm here because I think this is an epidemic and I think it has to be stopped. If we don't stop it now, there will be a point of no return. We have too many of our young men who are being off. And uh, we're doing it ourselves. We have other people out there doing it. And it's just a waste. It's a waste and it's an epidemic that's happening in the community. And I think we need to have to find some way to stop this. My name is Jeff Hitchcock, and I'm here today. I'm a member of the Plainfield Quaker Meeting, and I'm here today to support the community in this anti-violence. I've been a member of PLP in Plainfield for many years now, and we believe it's important to come out and have a presence and say that violence is wrong and that the community does not support it. And we would like people to stand up and say that with us. Donna Madison. Uh, I'm a Quaker in Plainfield Everybody here and a member Dr. of King. Project Hope. Uh, Project Hope is a group Dr. of King. churches the in the community King. that Dr. are trying to activate against uh, violence in the community. Hi, my name is Sandra Davis. I'm here um, in support of the violence that's going on here in Plainfield and uh, as well as in North New Jersey. Um, I have two boys that I raised. Um, one of my sons was, uh, happened to be robbed by gunpoint, but thank God nothing happened. He wasn't shot or anything. So I'm in support of uh, the violence in the city. Um, I think the parents need to get more involved. You really do. Thank you. Right, my name is Darren Nelson. I live in Plainfield. 
I'm a member of the People's Organization for Progress. Years and um, Stephen asked and me to so come on out here. A lot of times I'm busy, but he asked me to come on out here. And I feel as though we as um, adults, we're busy trying to make it in life. But we got to take a little bit of time out of our life to try to come help make the situation better. Because it ain't going to get no better unless we as black men come out here to try to make it better. The system made it the way it is now, you know, so we got to come up with some type of ways that we got to give our input, however small it may be, to try to help make things a little better. So, you know, I was reading in the paper the other day in the city of, in the county of Essex, 81 carjackings in a two-month period. From uh, January of last year until December of last year, it was 280 one car jackets. That that's a state of emergency for us. Right, so you know, it's you something that's going on with our youth right, inside so their heads that they right, have lost it. And we have to figure out a way that we can get them that's to that's level, that's get a level of consciousness about. to come back that's home. They lost their soul yeah. somewhere and they got to get their soul back so that they can understand that we are family. You know, even though it didn't happen to my direct family, but when it happens, when I see a, a young brother out here getting killed for senseless violence, that's my family. You know, we all in the human family, but close by, they are our family. You know, so we got to help out and we got to try to reach each other and try to make things better for each other. So that's why I'm out here. Get a brother. Freedom Brothers fighters like Stephen and Larry Ham and them, I, I, I give them all the props in the world because they out here and he asked me to come out here and I'm out here now. So that's why I'm here. I'm John Malco, I'm a student at Rutgers, and my brother asked me to come out. I wasn't aware of what's going on here today, but I was uh, going to UCC, and I heard about all the killings and everything going on, and I just don't want to let it just happen, so I'll do what I can to help. My name's Al Madison, I'm with, uh, or, I'm with a uh, company called Document Solutions. What we do is we work with a lot of churches and organizations uh, here in, in Newark and Newark and Plainfield throughout New Jersey. So if you need a copy, I'm the person to speak to. On the other hand, you know, the thing is about, about the situation here in Plainfield is that we as black men need to start taking care of our sons. We need to pay our child support. We need to do things that need to raise our sons so that we can get something out of them. That's the problem. The men and the families are not taking control of the families and dealing with the kids and the sons. That's why we have a problem. Most of the young kids look for some kind of guidance, and that guidance starts at home. It starts with their fathers. So black men, fathers in America and New Jersey, start taking care of your kids, and you won't have this problem with drugs. You won't have this problem with, uh, with guns and the rest of stuff like that. Take care of home first, and then someone else will have to take care of it for you. The problem is that you're not taking care of your kids, and someone else out there is raising your kids. The gangs are raising your kids. That's the problem. It starts at home. Javier Jesus Devil, Jesus. And I live in 14th Central Avenue, community leader in Plainfield, for over 10, 12 years now. What is the question matter? Well, we are here today because we are concerned community members. There's so much violence in our street right now that is going, to, it's, it's being overhand. So we decided to come together and allow the community to know that we have some people here that really care for one another. The Bible says to love one another, and we have to be concerned with the love of God among his children. That we have to be, we have to be uh, in the street to demonstrate that love that God gives us in our heart to share with one another. We, we don't live in the time of 200 years ago in which God was allowed to, to, to protect the country. Right now, although the Constitution of the United States and the Second, Second Amendment of the Constitution gives us the capacity to carry weapons, but we live in 220 years after that. We are more civilized than the past. We have to be concerned about today. We we, we are concerned also about what took place with the congresswoman down in uh, Tucson, Arizona. We're concerned about that, and we really care, and we against that violence, totally against. But then we cannot exonerate the politicians that forget to present the, 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 the vision of gun control. We need legislation that control guns that come into our children and destroy one another. That is true concern for the people of America, not to go and show off like a big, big show 
without mention to the country that the big problem is the love for money, which is the root of all evil, making weapons, manufacturing weapons, without totally this concern about our community. Children's school carrying gone today. Children in school carrying gone in our community selling drugs and buying gone. Where they get those gone? Why? Because we have in this country the capacity to manufacture weapons without totally detention. We have to stop that. God bless you, brother. God bless you.